Today, I'm going to show you how to memorize a lot of vocabulary in any language fast, how to learn hundreds of words a day, thousands of words a week, so that you can understand any language quickly. I'm going to use Spanish as an example. Spanish is a language I, know, I don't need to learn. My Spanish is better than my English. Neither of them are my native language, but my Spanish is definitely better. Um, but I'm going to use it as an example because most of you that contact me want to learn Spanish. Okay, so basically in a language like Spanish, we have two categories of two different types of words. We divide them into categories. Words that we can easily recognize because they're relatively similar to English, like actor, actor, adjetivo, adjective, adulto, aire. They sound different, pronunciation is different. Animal. Yeah. Animal. Apartamento. Pronunciation is different and you need to learn pronunciation. But they're recognizable enough so that you don't have to memorize them with associations. The second category of words that are so different that you can't really understand them in context uh, at first, so that you need to associate them. If you don't associate them, um, science says that you need to see words between 10 and 20 times in context to remember them. That's a lot of times. You need a lot of reading and listening to remember all those words, to see them enough times so that you remember them. You should be doing a lot of reading and listening anyway if you want to become fluent and understand the language well and speak well. Definitely do a lot of reading and listening. But doing this exercise will help you memorize vocabulary much faster, a lot more vocabulary much faster, so that listening becomes way easier from the beginning. You can do more of it learn all the grammar easily by just being exposed to it if you know the vocab and yeah overall your speaking and your listening will uh, your uh, comprehension will improve simply by knowing the vocabulary yeah if you know the vocabulary and you do a lot of listening both your speaking and your and your comprehension will improve quickly so this is what we're going to do we're going to take the words that are not similar in spanish uh, to english like tarde which is afternoon or late uh, llegar tarde is to be late. Um, and we're going to associate them. How? Well, what we need is an image, mental image for the English word, for the meaning. Yeah, this you can easily, easily visualize these words. Um, some of them more than others. Uh, and then we'll find something that sounds like this in English. And... Uh, will associate them, will create some sort of story with them. Yeah. And we visualize them. So you can visualize an afternoon or a clock, watch clock. It's like afternoon, like three o'clock, something. Or whatever you are, you are, like the way your street or your town looks like in the afternoon, you can visualize it. And then tarde, you have to visualize something or someone that reminds you of this. This word is not very politically correct these days. You can visualize that and associate it with the afternoon. You can visualize a third as well, or anything that comes to mind. You can also use people. Uh, anyone that you think uh, is uh, this word, I'm not going to say it on uh, YouTube because that's not going to go well. Um, you can visualize that person and then in the afternoon, something like that. We don't need to do it with these two because aire, aeropuerto is basically the same. Vivo, by the way, we, we pronounce this as be in Spanish. There's no V sound. So this is vivo, not vivo. Alive, vivo. By the way, do you spell Justin Biva like that? Or is this Biva or Biva? I don't know. Uh, anyway, you can you can visualize a beaver, like the animal that's alive, or Justin Beaver wanted dead or, dead or alive, and they've caught him alive. And you can you can you can visualize them like dragging him, kicking and screaming, maybe, uh, and with like a big sign of dead or alive. You you have to like close maybe if you need to close your eyes and, and visualize the whole thing. All this sounds stupid, but if you visualize them, 
And the, the stupider and the weirder it, it is, um, the mental image, the more likely you are to remember it. And they'll eventually fade away. But if you're also getting some listening in and doing some reading, you'll see them in context. And instead of having to see the same word 10 or 20 times, second time you see it, you'll remember very well. OK. Vivo, Justin Bieber. OK, let's go. Animal. Apartment, no need to. Just learn the pronunciation. Animal, apartamento. Apple, manzana. These words that are longer, two or three different, uh, three syllables or more, you should break them up in two words, at least. Yeah, so man on Sanax eating apples. Um, honestly, I don't know what people in Sanax look like. Uh, we don't have that here. It's an American thing, I think. But uh, yeah, just you can visualize this. You can break it up into other words, visualize them, make some story with Apple. And let's go on. Abril, April, no need to. Um, brazo. See, if you, if you were doing this as a Spanish speaker who's learning English, you visualize arm um, as, as weapon. Like arma is weapon in Spanish, so someone who's got like a one of those like you know you know, you know in, in like science fiction stuff or Terminator and those like they, they get a gun out of there like they've got a, they've got a gun or like a like a cannon or laser gun or something in their arm robots and all that shit you can visualize that if you're a Spanish speaker learning English. If you're an English speaker learning Spanish, you have to come up with something that sounds like this. And in my case, this is kind of like Brazil, braz, brazo. I guess it's brazo in, in Latin American. We say brazo in, in, in Spain. Um, Brazilian guy with one arm. Uh, if Brazilian guys are difficult to, I can picture a lot of Brazilian guys because I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but uh, Brazilian guy with huge arms as well, that would be my coach. Just grabs you in, in any kind of choke and it's a bad day. Um, okay. Or you can come up with something else that sounds like this. Next one, easy. Ejercito. Exercise. Actually, exercise is ejercicio. The words are related because um, it all comes from Latin. Because uh, that's that comes from training in Latin. So ejercito, ejercito was a group of men who've been trained. That's the origin of the, of the word. But in any case, army, ejercito, exercise. Guys from in the army exercising. Easy to visualize, yeah? And then we get arte, artista. Don't need to, yeah? Gusto, bebe. This is an interesting one. This will be the last one. And then I'll let you... Do the whole thing with the whole list. Um, espalda is back. So you can visualize the stock market for the S&P. And then Aldo is the UFC, was the UFC fighter. He's retired, retired now, I think. Or Aldi, the supermarket brand. Um, so you can visualize a huge bodybuilder, like a huge back. And there, this like the stock market. The back's so big that they've got the whole like screen there with the stocks going up and down with the charts. And all these stocks are going like to the moon. They're going really, or like they're going down, whatever. But you can, you have to visualize the whole thing. Back, back and then this is this the stock market there, and this the this the and this Aldi or oh, Aldo. Maybe it's Aldo's back, the fighters back. That's one example. This is very personal. The things that you. Normally, the things you're into, uh, things you watch, things you're interested in, uh, things you read about, people you hang out with, names, places, use those. Yeah, the more personal. This is why it's not easy to create associations for other people because I'm not inside your head and I don't know what you can easily visualize and you can't. So you should do your own. But these are just some examples. This... Um, 
this list has 625 common words from A to Z. You should do this with the whole thing and then review it daily. Once a day, you review the whole thing. How to review it? Um, you cover this completely. And you go, army. Um, how was army? Ejército. OK, got it right. You can check. Yeah, got it right. Art, arte, artist, artista, ataque, agosto, autor, bebé. Uh, I don't remember this one. And then you check, espalda, okay, and so on and so forth. And then you can mark the ones that you didn't remember. And then the next day, you do the whole thing, but maybe do it separately with the ones that you didn't remember. Or maybe try to associate them one more time, the ones that you couldn't remember. Um, but with associations, this should help you memorize the whole list of 625 common words in a couple of days. And what I highly recommend, in fact, this is vital, is to start doing a lot of listening as well, so that all these words, you see them in context, and it will help you in other ways as well. Your pronunciation will improve, your overall ability to understand connected speech and so on, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Listening is always super important, but especially in the beginning, even if you don't understand much, just listen a lot because all these words, you'll start to hear them in context if you're listening a lot because they're common words. And your confidence will start growing because you'll notice that instead of 0%, you understand like 20% now because you get some words here and there. And then it'll be 50% because you've memorized more words and so on. So start getting a lot of listening from the very beginning and memorize 20, 50, 100 words a day, maybe more if you're motivated and this is this feels easy for you. It really depends on the person. If, you, if you're creative and intelligent, you can do a lot of them very quickly. OK, so if you're on the whole, this is it. If, if you're on the whole list, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll send it to you so you can download it. Um, also, let me know in the comments which language do you want it for, and I'll create the whole list with the sentences in the language. I'm doing it for my clients now. Uh, Russian is one of the languages I'm translating the whole thing for and creating associations uh, for every word in Russian, even if I know all these words in Russian, because I, yeah, I learned them a long time ago. I did this years ago already, but um, yeah, I'm doing it for my clients. If you want this for any specific language, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I'll do it for you. I'll create a list of words with the target language here. It, it doesn't matter if it's Arabic or French or Chinese or whatever. And I create the associations, all right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Why am I moving my head like this? Anyway, uh, see you next time. Keep learning languages.